Hey, what's up, guys? So we're looking back here, and today we are going to be playing some Evolve Shaman. Um, this is a very interesting deck. Um, I do genuinely enjoy playing Evolve Shaman. Although it's not my favorite deck, it is fun to whip out every once in a while. It's like the same feeling that you get when you're playing a Yogg deck, right? Where the deck is just so random that you can't help but be entertained while playing it, or while watching it, in my opinion. Um, I do have a very storied history with this deck. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the games. I don't think I've talked about it yet on the channel, so I guess that's going to be a first. But um, yeah, anyways, this was a viewer suggestion deck. Uh, so if you guys do have any other suggestions, leave them down below. I'd always be interested uh, to try out decks that you guys have. And um, yeah, anyways, with that being said, how about let's queue up the first game and let's see how everything goes. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. First matchup is a mage, so this is gonna go probably miserably. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this matchup. Uh, this hand, this hand makes me feel like I'm playing uh, Shutter. I'll just go this on turn one. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Maybe he doesn't have much to play. So I could have just resolve a Bolner next turn and have it be fine. That would be pretty great. Oh, it's big, I believe. Can't even realize. I guess I slam this here anyways. I can evolve it, but I'd rather evolve this to a four drop. Oh well. Let's see if he wastes his turn two. If he does, I mean, I guess it puts me in a decent position because I do have the Dungeoneer next turn that I can evolve. Get a free four drop. It's not the end of the world. Ooh, he doesn't take the free trade. Interesting. So I'm gonna, is it Mech Mage? Interesting. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take the free trade in that case. There's three or more spells in a turn. That's impossible. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll draw both of my weapons. I want to have as big a board as possible, which is why I want my weapons here. Um, I do have this. Uh, so if he floods the board with a whole bunch of mechs, I can't just devolve the whole board. Although I do lose my entire board because shark is shark uh there's nothing i can realistically do about that sadly you have both sharks i guess you can only play one how many one drops do you have oh you just have double mech warper double shark double warper double shark must be nice Must be nice to just hit. I know I've played that deck a fair amount. It must be nice to just hit. This feels so fucking bad. Am I just dead as I rolled this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm at 2 life. <laughs> that is fucking gross. Uh, man, the cheating is so annoying. I don't think there's anything I could realistically do. I need to somehow evolve into like a Ragnaros. <laughs> yeah, no. Sally, I drew both of these instead of hitting evolve. Oh well. What can you do? 
it happens uh let's just queue up the next one all right another shaman maybe maybe we'll get a game where we can actually develop a board and be able to like play the game and not just be dead on turn five that'd be pretty fun <laughs> um as you'll notice that there is two losses i did forget to record one of the games i thought i clicked record i did not and it went basically the same thing as last game where it was just my opponent just curved out better than i did and i lost <laughs> to be fair i shouldn't really complain i mean i'm it's not like i'm playing a good deck versus all the people i've been playing against their decks are on a tier list i don't think evolve shaman has been talked about since when did evolve come out uh, is that whispers bam then uh yeah okay it's corn portal i can't risk leaving that alive it is way too terrifying all right let's not hit something terrible yeah two five taunt is not the end of the world there's much worse i can hit realistically Okay, th I mean, this is going, I guess. Okay, well, this is a dead card now, but what can you do? Um, maybe I should have hit the 1-1, one, one, but I think either way, like, no matter what his answer to my board is, it's going to be the same, so. Ah, uh, he devolves, and I'm going to, and I'm going to evolve. Aha, uh -huh, outplayed. Okay. Checks out. Um, I don't have any decent play. That is really unfortunate. That was real bad. Man, I swear this deck has... <laughs> this deck is fun and all, but it's also really, really tilting. What can you do? It happens. That seems about right for how my RNG has been going over the last couple games I've played. If you guys watched yesterday's stream, you guys would know all about that. Uh, I missed three damage. Whoops. Okay. I wonder how he's going to kill this this turn. I'm very excited, actually. I was just gonna play an 8 8. Checks out. That seems like the wrong order to do that in, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Um. It's probably better, I think, to punch face here. I'm the only one that can low roll on discover or evolving into a six drop and getting a two two. You have double frostbite. Okay, well, I have this trade, which is not bad here. Give me some form of a taunt minion, please, so I don't just randomly die. Okay, I got a taunt minion. Beautiful. Uh, alright. I think we win here. If we figure out a way to lose from this position, I should quit the game. Um, yeah. We won a game. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. The never before seen of all shaman actually winning a game in the wild. Uh, anyways, uh... Let's, I guess, queue up the next game. All right, guys, yeah, I'll see y'all there. All right, next matchup, mage. Uh, as we saw with our first mage matchup, it doesn't necessarily go too well. This is an okay curve. We have hero power on one. The only better thing, like, right, obviously we would love to hit Muckpool on one into, like, guy on two, this on three, this on four, weapon on five, this on six. But... That rarely goes according to plan. 
So hopefully it goes according to plan. Uh, anyways, um, before I get into my story about why I have a uh, weirder pass with this deck over other decks, I hope everyone has a beverage. I'm currently drinking myself a Dr. Pepper because I really wanted a Dr. Pepper. And yeah. Anyways, so the reason um, I have a, I guess a little bit more of a storied pass with this deck is I have a friend that played hearthstone he currently only really plays battlegrounds every so often maybe a couple times a month but the only decks he would ever play in regular hearthstone was cthune mage when cthune came out and whispers of the old gods and evolve shop so that's that's around when he played um and back then the evolve shop was one of the best decks in the game because you just evolve your board and typically what you would evolve into is bigger than whatever your opponent had and it was kind of like the bane of uh, mid range year controlier decks uh, back then. That was all I really played. It's it's all I ever really had the cards for. So I would get shit on constantly whenever we'd play. And ever since then, I was always like, oh man, I hate that deck. Oh man, I hate that deck. And they spent months never picking up the deck because I just hated playing against it that much. Until I guess a couple months back, maybe a year or so ago. A viewer was like, oh, you should play Evolve Shaman. And I was like, you know what? I spent so much time hating on this deck. Maybe, maybe I'll actually give it a try. And turns out the deck was really, really fun. So that is why nowadays I don't hate the deck nearly as much as I once did. But yeah, back then I absolutely hated the deck more than words can express. Do you have double... That seems like it was deserved for him. Uh, I want to go this, and it gets counterspelled, and I cry and lose the game. Hey, I don't just lose the game. I was about to say, if that's Flame Ward, I also just lose the game. I should have punched first. Um, right, if he doesn't have... Man, why do aggro decks get board wipes all of a sudden? Like, who started that, and why did they start that? I can play spells, but I just feel like I'm just so far behind that I just lose no matter what the fuck happens. This is going to be a two health thing or a three health thing, isn't it? You can't target it. <sighs> hmm. I don't genuinely don't know how to come back from the position I'm currently in. I'm so far behind. I think I just lose the game. Yeah, that that checks out forever. How how games have been going? That checks the fuck out. I need to test for counter spell. Well, I just lost all form of board presence. I think for the rest of the game. Oh man, I hate Secret Mage. I hate Secret Mage so fucking much. It's actually insane. <laughs> I is Secret Mage my least favorite deck at the moment? <laughs> yeah, I don't even think it actually comes even close. I think Secret Mage is the most toxic pile of cards I've seen in quite some time. Well, it's really unfortunate that I rng would like this. It's a really, really free trade. I do get coins, though, next turn if he plays spells of some sort. Unless he wants to ch kill my bully, in which case I'm okay with that. I mean, I remember when bully was actually meta to play. I was kind of hoping to get some amount of just free value, but... Alas, I guess not. This hand is so fucking terrible, it's actually insane. Hopefully I get something good on my 8 drop. I 
it's not exactly what I wanted, but I guess I'll take it. It does require a trade from both of his creatures. If he does trade into it with both of his creatures, I'm in a really, really good position. I gotta do this trade, I guess, for free into Evolve It. Not that bad. Huh. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, evolve Shaman. You could be losing and then all of a sudden you get a 12-12 for free. And you're just like, ha! You get fucked. Um, one thing I am, I mean, that I have a feeling is rigged fair. How did I hit Matter Bomber twice? There's no one card in the game that kills me here. That's just gonna have zero power next turn. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just this. No, I don't really want to evolve my board anymore. I'll just I'll just steal its last attack point. Beautiful. And that's how you win a game of Hearthstone. You just evolve into let's wipe your board. <laughs> oh, Evolve Shaman is such a good meme. But it's okay. We can get lucky against the fucking class that is Mage. If you guys watched the stream yesterday, you guys will know how mad I was at that mage. How I had not hit mages basically at all in like maybe one or two max a day. I queued into I think five or six mages, seven mages last night playing Pillager Rogue. And yeah, it was it was actually awful. The fact that I RNG'd so poor poorly, it actually hurt me. Anyways, I'm gonna cut out the rest of this loading time. All right, two mage or two shaman players. Let's see how this goes. I'm not all this. Maybe we're playing the mirror match. I doubt it, but I can hope for some entertaining gameplay that we're playing the mirror match. Um, a decent two drop would be pretty good. Desert hair is not bad either. Evolve would probably be the be one of the better draws in my deck. Primal Dungeoneer here is also really, really good. Bolner is not bad. Bolner is not bad. That is what I just said. I don't want to evolve it yet. The plan is to go hair next turn, so this way it gets copied with Bolner, which is pretty good. That's a little bit terrifying, but it's fine. I just want a million copies of Bolner. Oh no, this summons desert hairs? That's so much better. I'll take a 2-4. Look at this value. Have you ever seen so much value? I haven't. Not in quite some time. First set is what you hit. Ooh, this thing can punch something. What the hell does this do? Uh, out of 1-1, summon a 1-1. One, one, I 
don't want to keep Jeeves. Thank you, Jeeves. Thank you for getting that. Ha! Huh. Now who has the bigger board, mister? I'm gonna slam Totemic Might ending up my board devolved because... You! Who is breaking the card, Jeeves? That's me. I'm the one play playing Jeeves and winning with the card, Jeeves. Man, I love Jeeves. Jeeves is such a cool card. What a unit. Oh, you're going face. You think face is gonna save you. I see. I'm doing this trade and I'm slamming this to kill off the rest of his board, basically. Some five fives in this bitch. Some five fours. All right, now no one gets to take advantage of the power of level of G's anymore. Let's just do that. Go face. Depending on what he does, just evolve next turn. Punch face, evolve. Hopefully get some taunts eventually. Our board is clearly too good. Evolve Shaman actually just MVP. <laughs> how am I how am I doing that winning thing? I couldn't win with Pillager Rogue yesterday, yet I can win playing a pile of really, really weak minions. I like it. That's why I thought Banish Shadow Row. Uh alright. Um The start of this video was not going well. Now this seems to be going too well weird anyways uh let's just uh let's just queue up the last game all right guys yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all there all right last matchup is with druid um druid is not a matchup i like seeing at all i don't like getting two twos I like being able to evolve boards into big boards. It's significantly more entertaining for me. I'm gonna get cocked. There's no way he kept destroy the board summon two twos, right? There's no way. Zero way. I refuse to believe it. I have like probably the best curve uh, I can like get this early on. It's Elemental next turn into hair coin evolve. And I evolve the elemental here. Ooh, corridor creeper is actually pretty good. You got to be fucking kidding me. There is no word. Thank God he did not read what the card does. Oh, I almost got mad cocked. Actually mad cocked. Well, the one four is not good, but the rest of this board is fairly decent. And if he does wipe the board, I mean, Corridor Creeper gets pretty big. I'm fine with that. That is really good for him. I will not even try to lie. So I push face here for a whole bunch. Hope it's good enough. No, don't attack with your weapon first. That is a very big mistake you can make. Seems about my average yog luck. <laughs> How on earth do I hit two two sevens? I had a one one, some two sevens, a six six that gains my opponent health. Uh, How? How can I beat this unlucky? Don't have poison seeds have any card that is not poison seeds legitimately any any one that's not poison seeds oh if it's poison seeds i cry Why are you roping me, Mr. Druid? I have fault. It's a two powered five and six drop. Let me cry about my pain in peace. It's fine. 
I don't want to use the rest of my evolves. I'm just gonna hero power here and pass. Yeah, I don't want to use the rest of the evolves because if he does just poison seeds me, I want to be able to punch him in the face with my tutus and then massive evolve my board. Uh, probably the best draw here would actually be Thrall, just so I can like spot evolve a little bit easier and I don't have to use my uh, location. Um, that that would probably be one of the best. Uh, sorry, I'm getting messaged on Discord. Uh, Alright, is this good enough to win the game, though? It's 12, 24? 24 at the dome? It's pretty good. To be fair, a poison seeds here would be really, really good for him. Fine with that. That. I lose. I lose a lot of damage actually with that. Sadly. That's fine. We have a fairly good board. Um, he's basically forced to drop poison seeds at this point. I'm fine with that. Man, I wish I had played this card and not just have him on my board. <laughs> he's bound to drop poison seeds eventually. At least he gets really, really unlucky. Let's punch him in the face for a bunch and then evolve. Can I potentially, I was about to say, if I draw Thrall, like, I'm mad chillin'. I'm gonna get Poison Seas again and I'm gonna cry. I should've Hero Powered, actually. So the reason I should have hero powered here and not just did this, uh, so is this like poison seeds I still had lethal? Yeah, there's the second poison seeds. Take fives, I got unlucky on my rolls. Oh, and he's actually running the scales. Unlucky. Can I top deck Thrall, please? That would be great. I know the odds are very low, but can I top deck Thrall or Horde Pillager or second Knuckles? Oh, I actually drew the Thrall. I am clearly just built different at this game. Anything here of charge? Ooh, that's actually really good. It's a bunch of free poke damage to the dome. He used Maw already. Uh, all these things are bigger than the rest of his removal. I know he can't have a second poison seeds. He could have second scales of Onyxia, which would be unfortunate. Um, but I don't think scales kills my entire board. He, I guess he could technically go like gloops into Onyxia into the other one into the other one, and then I just lose, which I mean, I guess that is a possibility. Deal six. Seven, two, six, six. That's fine. That is fine. <sighs> Can you just die? <laughs> uh. Oh, that's actually pretty good. And trade into one that could do that. I'm gonna go with hoping this is lethal. Oh, that's how you steal a game away from a druid. 
you just evolve past his shit with one lucky top deck of thrall <laughs> easy game <laughs> oh shaman what a class what a unit uh oh we can open packs beautiful what what type of packs do i want to open today um i have all of these sets all of these i think i have most of these you know what? Let's just go back to the good old classic. Let's go. Let's just open some GVG. You know what? The next set I want to complete that's not the next set that comes out is going to be GVG. Screw it. We need to open GVG packs, get a couple GVG legendaries. I think I'm still missing some of the cool ones that are not good. Okay. Double rare pack is fine. Actually, I'll go until I stop opening. Like if I stop getting new rares. I think that's a better time uh, to stop. Once I have all the rares, then I'll move on to the next set, then I'll move on to the next set, so on and so forth. So I have all the rares, and then I'm gonna go on to epics with older sets. Oh, I'm still missing rares from GVG. Eventually we will get there. And that will be a great day. There, there. So we're still missing at least one of those. But for Evolve Shaman. This deck is just like Yogg. If you like Yogg decks that are just pure random, you are going to like Evolved Shaman. Um, there's actually not much else for me to say, really. Um, your deck is pure RNG. Sometimes you low roll, as you saw, and I, you get two two-powered, a five, you get a two-powered five drop and a two-powered six drop. And then you're just like, well, me. After you evolve your one one that you got as a five drop, right? Sometimes that happens. It's kind of whatever. Sometimes you get out curved as you are playing a three mana one one that summons two one ones, which is not exactly good. But sometimes everything just goes together perfectly. And then you're just like, huh, well, I just evolved into a board you can't deal with. And now you die type thing. So it's really a 50 50. Sometimes you get really lucky on, you know, a primordial wave and then your opponent just gets absolute shit on and it's just like ah easy but other times you'll primordial wave and you'll give them more power somehow because you gave them three mill houses but you ignore that <laughs> uh but yeah anyways besides that this deck is just a lot of fun would definitely recommend look trying it out and um yeah anyways with that being said i'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we can get some more dubs and everything goes swell all right guys yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all in the next game peace